Next up, Devin Wade. Uh, it's been a year now since Wade made a name for himself on the hit show Long Shot, but now he's been signed by the Dallas Cowboys. How about that? And a year ago, I would have said Wade's got a shot at a decent NFL career, but let's be honest, this last year has been really rough on him. At least he's on a team, unlike his buddy Colt Cruz. Yeah, but you gotta give Colt some credit. I mean, he gave up a shot at the Super Regional Combine to help his buddy Devin Wade out when he needed him most. That's true, but would we even be talking about him if he wasn't on that show? He <laughs> barely made it out of rookie minicamp last year. Yeah, but, but I think Cruz has some talent. We would have seen Cruz missile launch right out of the Super Regional. Yeah, sure, he got some exposure on the show, but that could ultimately cost him in the long run. Nate, there's nothing wrong with being on reality show. <laughs> of course you would say How that. How dare you? How dare you? Now, Peter, who has the best shot of these guys in making this movie? You know, I am Mike Schmizniak. That's Schmiz. my, I'm a Schmiz guy. No way. Yes. Not a chance. Yes. Look, he had the best numbers of any of those contestants. Okay. Don't sleep on the Schmiz. Okay, you're talking about numbers. Football is much more than numbers. I mean, Schmitty is a beast on the field, but that attitude, though, hey, listen, that's a non-starter in my book. All right, Burleson, so who's your pick? You know who I stand by. Who? Colt Cruz, baby. Uh, I'll give you a name. Sergeant Carrick. Yeah. I'm a big Sergeant yes. Carrick guy. Let's, yes. When the show went back to Wade's old army unit and Wade and Cruz got to go Iron Man against Dan Marino, it's Carrot. She more than held her own against her fellow soldiers. NFL scouts out there, take note of this lady. Here, here. Thank yes. You. Does she even have a first name? Yeah, Sergeant. Sarge for sure. sure. Sarge, yeah. All right, in all seriousness, do you guys see a future in the NFL for these two? Yeah, listen, the window is short after college. You normally get two seasons to catch on. I say it's do or die for mm. Cruz. And Wade, it's been a year now. He hasn't been cut, but it looks like no team in the NFL trusts him to actually take an NFL snap. That show made him a household name, and he's had training from top talent. Dan Marino, mm. ever heard of him? How about Coach Jack Ford? Yeah, and the Cowboys are the ultimate show, and they clearly see something. I mean, he's going to have to prove himself, but I genuinely think we're going to see him on the field there. I do. I'm rooting for him. Now just one of 90 players vying for a roster spot, but the question does remain, guys. Can the long shot continue to defy odds and be one of the Cowboys' final 53? Listen, we're going green, right, strong. Slot spider, two wide banana. Got it? Uh, got it, Coach. Go. That's what we got, long shot. Okay, all right, here we go, guys. All right, we're gonna go. Um... Oh, no, that's real good. Coach loves QB who take their time. No, I got it, I got it. All right, we're going, we're going red, quads right, a slot, a spider, two wide banana. Is that even a play? Sounds like what I had for breakfast. Hey, come on, man. You know this is football, right? See it over there? It's the other team. You want to call a play now? Come on. Okay. Uh. 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 What are we? Hey, say we going past 94, punch X, deep cross. All right, here we go. Check that. Here we go, guys. Eyes on me. All right, we're going past 94, punch X, deep cross. Pass 94, punch X deep cross. On two, on two. Ready, break! break. Guess we'll see if he knows what that means.
What play was that? Uh, it was past 94, uh, Bunch, and I had the, uh, the X-Solo cross. We went over this in OTAs already. How are you ever gonna beat a real NFL defense? You don't even know what play we're running. Take a seat, son. Yeah, you lasted longer than me on long shot, but uh, it's real football now, bud. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that, Mike. <laughs> telling you. So. It's a long shot. I'm a long shot. Ooh. Oh, hey, man. No more spots tonight. Why don't you try back next week, though? Yeah, sure. No spots tonight. Same thing. Every time. Beat the Bengals. You have one new message. Yeah, Colt. Joe King over the Cincinnati Bengals. Yes. We all appreciate the many, many calls and voicemails. <laughs> and yeah, we had a chance to look at your tape. But right now, we just don't have a place for you. Just keep working, stay in shape. You know, someone's going to call it. To, eh, might even be us, but I just want to be clear that there is no reason to call me or anyone else on the scout team. I, I don't think I can overstate that enough. Love the enthusiasm. But, uh, again, don't call us, we'll call you. Good luck, Cole. I didn't call that much. <laughs> Mind if I sit? Suit yourself. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't do that, don't you? That must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for the world. Oh, come on now. You give up the whole world, play a two-bit club? Well, you know what I was doing before this? It's bagging groceries in Anniston, Alabama. Singing in the shower on the side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, I know the crowds ain't always the biggest. Sometimes they're downright mean. I miss my daughter like crazy. But if this is for the long haul, I'm up for it. You know? Yeah. You get it. You know, there ain't no easy glory. <laughs> so you gotta love it or it ain't worth trying. And I tell you what, giving it everything I got before I ask another person, do you want paper or plastic? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, I just had it in my head that I'd get up on that stage and I'd start singing and that crowd would just eat it up, you know, mm -hmm. and they'd know the words, <laughs> and I'd hold out the microphone, and they'd sing along, but <laughs> I'm just starting to realize it probably be like... No. Mm. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Billy? Billy, you have a second? Sure. Yeah. You need me too? I'm ready. Maybe. Next week. Hey, you opened the door with that long shot song. So now you just need another one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks. And break a leg. Thank you. <laughs> just need another one. Just. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back need to the stage. Bill and Matt. Come on, man. Blue cheese fries with a fried pepper. Son, didn't no one ever teach you to bar an F? Who 
the heck are you? You don't recognize your own daddy? <laughs> are you kidding me here? Where are the cameras at? You, you, you filming this right now? Because this, <laughs> this here is some of the most cliche crap I've ever seen in my life. Son gets a little success, and his dad beat dad, who he's, he's never even met before, shows up out of the blue. Wow, well, I got some news for you, sir. I'm broke. Yeah, I spent all my money out here trying to play gigs. Don't even know if I got enough money to get me home, so... Well, that is a shame. All I'm asking is ten minutes of your time. No, thank you. Listen. Just meet me tomorrow at that diner off Old 71 South. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm not gonna be hungry. Ten minutes. Then you won't ever see me again. I'll give you five, and then I'm gone. And don't ever call me son. Whew, they ain't place today, but they ain't stopping us tonight. Oh, man, this might be the only time we get. Snuck into the drink facility. What are you facility. doing in Dallas? I snuck in. Randy, we, we you know got what? a game. You got to get yourself back here to Memphis. I'll get there. I'll get there. Devin and Tito practicing at night, though. I, I don't They're doing everything they can. Yeah. It's for the fan side, Cal. Come on, show some excitement. I, I, I gotta go. I just walked in. He's, uh, kind of doofy looking. He's got a head like a squished up pumpkin. Looks like me, except not so handsome. I imagine he looks a little lost. Do you see him? Yeah, I see him. Well, tell him to sit down. Um, excuse me. Uh, sit down, I guess. Me? Colt! Colt, <laughs> sit down! <laughs> there you are. I wanted the two of you to meet. Where the heck are you? I'll get to that part. But first off, Lo, this is your half brother, Colt. Wait, I, I'm adopted? No. This is your half sister, Loretta. What? I want to pause for a moment so you can figure that out. Okay, so some good news, and I think you're both gonna be real happy for it. Yeah, fat chance. Here we go. This just in, I booked a tour. 30 cities over four months. Opening for the opener. I'm on the poster and everything. It's kind of a big deal, guys, and I'm not hearing a lot of reaction. Well, well what does that mean for me? Which brings me to the best part of this situation. You are gonna stay with your brother. What? Wait, why can't I just come with you? Now, from my vantage, this is an ideal situation. Gives you two some time to spend quality time together, really get to know each other. This is crazy! Why can't I come? 
What'd you say? I, I'm, my call's breaking up over here. We can hear you just fine. What'd you say? I'll call you. I'll call you later. I'll call you from the road. We can catch him. Let's go. He's gone. You know what you want? I just need a minute to process all this, okay? Okay. It's not that complicated. Could you just give us a minute, please? Ugh. Sorry. So... What's your name again? Loretta. Colt. <sighs> we'll be rotating all four quarterbacks tonight. I'm in charge of you two. Execute exactly what I say you play. You don't? And no reps, that's right. We level. All right, here we go. Fellas, eyes on me. Okay, let's go. Ace trips right, flex, stretch right. Oh, come on, man. You got to toss that thing up. Make a name for yourself, baby. What? Ain't nobody making this team if we handing it off. Come on, let the thing fly. All right, hey, all right. Hey, guys, here we go. We're going to go check alert. 82, X cross, deep post. Okay? X cross, deep post. 82 protection. All right, here we go. Ready? Press! You gotta earn these guys' respect before they'll listen to anything coming out your mouth. But I don't think you're ready for it. But we gotta make a decision between you and Smitty. You'll be playing a couple of drives tomorrow night, but a repeat of the day, and you're gone. Hey, Devin Wade, can I get your autograph? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. What's your name, man? Connor. Connor. Good Connor. 
Thanks for coming out, bud. Cool. Oh, kid, don't let camp arm ride on your stuff. Cool. There you go. You know, his signature's gonna be worthless in about a week. Cool. But now, you got a ball worth something. Cool. Devin. Yeah, what's up, bud? Tell Colt he's the best. Will do. Do you have a charger? Uh, this thing's old school. Sorry. <laughs> you do have a Twitter, though. It's Colton Cruz 81. Got at least 200 something followers. <laughs> you on that? Social media? Some Twitter or Facebook or anything? Tumblr. Ah, Tumblr. Cool. Do you like, uh, tigers? What? Ti oh. They're fine. I got it. Music. Everybody likes music, right? <laughs> what, you listen to Pop? Pop, pop Station? Oh, these guys are fun. <laughs> uh, all these lights. It can't fly me. Something so that nobody can drag me down. Come on. Oh, you know it. Nobody, nobody. <laughs> nobody can drag me down. What's going on? Uh, nothing. I just, um, I just got a tinkle real quick. I I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, hey. Took you forever to call me back. I'm in Port Aransas. I've got my own things going on. Yeah, well, I am up to my shirt collar and problems here. Oh, stop talking and start telling me. Okay. Well, I don't know how to say this. I saw Dad earlier today. Oh, just what I need. What did he want? Asking for money, no doubt. No, it's more complicated than that. You see, he dropped his... Uh, dropped his daughter off with me. His daughter? Yeah, Loretta. Why didn't you ever tell me about her? Well, I can't tell you about what I don't know. Look, I, I gotta go. No, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I need your help here. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, how's that different than any other time? Figure it out and call only if it's an emergency. No, but, Mom, this is an emergency. Ugh. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Just kick me on them down. That's awesome. Great. Can we go? It's like children of the corn out here. Just hold your horses for a second. I'll, I'll be right there. Oh, please help me. Please help me. You good? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Just got a weird text from home. I ain't got time for no quarterback loss and his personal problems. Sarkos, I'm, I'm good. Your career's on the line, and you out here playing tiddlywinks while Smitty's in there studying. But, oh, you're good. Okay. Nice one. And you, with the snide remarks for every darn thing, you need to keep your mouth shut. I just left a meeting sticking up for you two dipsticks. And neither of you have shown me nothing. Zero. Zero. Except maybe you don't belong. I would take good enough, but you're not even that. Uh, excuse me, can I, uh, interrupt for a second? I hate to interrupt. I'm in the middle of something. Just need you for one second, Earl. Just a second. Excuse me, guys. You okay? I'm level. Let's not pretend we both see eye to eye. You got your way in there with Coach. Fine. You two have a history together. Well, he and I have a history, too. I'm not the only one losing patience, Earl. You got one week. Excited to see that arm, Big D. Schmiz. We both have the same goal, Earl.
Let's get on the field. I thought we were I supposed to I said move now. Let's go. Yeah. Well, here we are. Home sweet home. <laughs> I know it ain't much. What? I thought your phone was dead. It is. Oh, yeah, I guess I could clean this place up a little bit. <laughs> you think? Um, yeah, well, those those are all clean. I just, you know, I haven't folded them yet. And, uh, well, that's... Oh. Easy. Look at that. Yep. All cleaned up. Okay. Um, now, for where you are going to sleep tonight, uh, down the hall on the right side is Devin's room. I just would tell you to open a window because it's probably a bit dusty in there. Or you could just be cool on the couch. I'm just too tired to think about how filthy this place is. Okay. Well, just uh, make sure you're comfortable <laughs> and get a good night's sleep because tomorrow's a big day, you know, because uh, tomorrow we are going to get you registered for school. Right? That's something you need to do. And uh I'll see you in the whatever. No, no, no. Hold on, Sharon from the double nickel who? No, no, no. Hey there, um, long time no talk. <laughs> Sorry about that, by the way. Um, hey, I am in a situation with my teenage sister that I didn't know I had. <laughs> and before things completely fall apart here, I was hoping you might have a, just a minute to talk, please. Um, Oh, it's Colt, by the way. Uh, Cruz, the guy who's too slow to cover you. Hey. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> that could have gone better. Devin Wade finally going to get a chance to show Cowboy fans what he can do, and I'm sure it helps. It's in front of the home fans. Yeah, and he's hoping these home fans can lift him around, but let's face it, Brandon, he's probably only going to get a series or two. He's got to do something to make this staff notice him. Throwing on first down. Wade over the middle complete. That's Thompson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Devin will throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 
first target, first catch, and a first down. That play by Devin brings up a new set of downs. Nice catch as well. Good connection. Yeah, I like what you mentioned. The key part of it, a new set of downs. Well done. They go play action here on first down. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football. But how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. This is Smith. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want it. I didn't offer it. mine. You, know, you, were, you were the <laughs> smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. Second down. Devin will throw it. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Jared Norris not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out. And it's caught. Touchdown. Well, there we go. A successful drive for Devin Wade. Will that be enough to impress the coaches, especially the watchful eye of Earl Coates? The touchdown helps, but a lot of people have tried to impress that man. Not many have succeeded. I don't have to explain myself to you, Donnie. Well, if the coach keeps listening to you over me, then you do. I say who's ready to play. When is that going to be, week 15? Look, it's my job to evaluate talent. How am I supposed to do my job if you won't put Devin on the field? Devin, you're ready to play, right? Yeah, of course, but... Uh... Not his decision. Not your decision. My decision. I say Smitty plays week two. Come on, look. Just... Look, I I've done all the looking I need to. Just uh, give me some flexibility. You want flexibility, do yoga. My mind's made up. Hey, Devin, I'm on your side. I want you on that field as much as you do. I appreciate that. And I'm very flexible. I do Bikram yoga, the hot kind. It's not for sissies. Check us out. Look at that. It's pretty good. Find one on the GM that can do this, seriously. Now think about that. Now help me get out of it. Okay. I'm stuck. Cheers. Can you help me? Yeah. Just, Thank uh, you. Either arm. That's good. It's good right there. Easy. Ah! Don't let me do that again. Come on. All right. See you later, Donnie. See ya. Hope stay on the field. See that one? <laughs> That's from when I broke Mathis' all-time yardage record. Well, didn't really break it. More like shattered it. <laughs> and then there's this one. The big one in the middle. That is the cream de la cream. <laughs> that is from when we won the Texas State 3A Championship. <sighs> Not exciting enough. What if I told you we were huge underdogs? It was epic. into the second quarter and we still ain't got no points. It's Katie 14, both from Big Fat Zero. Has Devin even thrown the ball to Coke? Come on, let's go! Uh, maybe this will be the drive. Better be. It's a state championship for crying out loud. Come on, Cal! Randy, stop yelling, man. I am right here. I see you. Here we go. First and ten and a new drive.
Devin in the shotgun. And he's got some space. And he'll be tackled down, but not before we get a first down. Hoo-wee, Wade is just ripping through that defense right now. <laughs> they can't stop him. Kids are falling all over each other out there. Wade to throw. Wide open the Colt. Where's the defense? And he is in. Touchdown Cruz missile. Woohoo! There you go, Colt. All right, all right, all right. That's a start. 14-7 after the extra point. Woo! That was big time drive. I mean, he took over that drive. He's about to take over this guy. Need to make something happen here. Still 21-13 KD Sandcrabs. The Katie Punter. Feels it with great field position. And he is in. Touchdown Cruz missile. Woohoo! There you go, Colt. Holy <laughs> cheese fries. Now that was easy. Oh, Cruz with an unbelievable return. Go. Of course, it had to come down to the final drive here. The number one ranked Katie Sandcrabs lead math is 28-23, and there ain't a whole lot of time left. I got to admit, I ain't never been this nervous. Never, Cal. I'm sweating through my overalls, Cal. Uh, no. No. Me too. That one will fall incomplete, and it will bring us to second down. Anything else interesting happened last night? Well, I drove down to get a baseball cap, but the stadium was closed. You know, I've been a Houston fan my entire life, and I'm starting to think they will never win a World Series. At least not in my lifetime, Cal. Never gonna happen. First and ten, let's see what the coach has in store for our boys. See, you ain't gotta be that tall to make that play. You run a good route, catch the ball, easy as pie. Oh, I feel like I'm on a seesaw. Lots of yards on that last play, and then they lose most of them back with the sack. Now way to throw on second down. Open space on the left side, and that will be a great pickup right there. Favorite moment this season? On the field? Well, uh, the win against Steve Hollow, 72 points. Come on. And what about off the field? All right, let me think about that. Had to be when Bigfoot's uncle fell out of the stands when we played Victoria. <laughs> he fell like 10 feet, landed on the band director. <laughs> I still crack up thinking about that. Oh, yeah, that was great. Forgot all about that. He's got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he does it. Colt Cruz has a game 40 ages almost single-handedly pulling off a stunning upset. I speechless. Man, 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 are you okay? Come on, we won, man. It's a dear the jaw, Cal. I'm hammering in a tornado in a trailer park. <laughs> Woo, that was a night. Come on now, that's amazing, huh? It's pretty cool. Is she boring you to death with his tall tail? <laughs> <laughs> Nail on the head. <laughs> Coach Hank, this is Loretta. Hi. Hey, hey, well, shouldn't you be in class, young lady? I'm his sister. You're kidding me. Nope. No kidding about it. And she's going to be staying in Mathis for a little while, so I figured I'd bring her here, get her registered, except, uh... We got way late on <laughs> memory lane. No. <laughs> no, I just... I just got a little lost, <laughs> is all. I haven't been here in a minute. Well, you don't remember how to find the principal's office? I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to show you? <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. We finished practice at four. Anytime after that, you're welcome to use the field. You know what? I'll be there, Coach. Well, come by a little early. I'm sure the kids would enjoy hearing war stories from the old days. Okay. <laughs> Thanks again, Coach. Hey, I'm so happy you called back. Yeah, well, I, 
wasn't gonna bother her after you blew me off the last four months. But you did sound desperate. I am. I really, really am. I mean, the thing is, I don't know anything about kids or teenagers or, if I'm being honest here... Girls? Yeah. <laughs> or women, clearly. Hey, hey, now. I knew enough to get your number, didn't I? You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll help. Yes. What do you have in the house? Uh, you mean, like, furniture? No, I mean, like, vegetables, dummy. You need to stock the fridge. Cook instead of takeout, you know, like an adult. Yeah, I mean, don't kids just like Pop-Tarts? Yeah, Cole, kids just want Pop-Tarts. Okay. All right, okay. I'll do it your way. All right? I mean, beyond that, don't judge. Girls got enough they're up against. All right. And sage advice. You know, I think I got this now. Good. And if that fails, you can always have her call me. Really? Does that mean I can call you, too? I guess. <laughs> okay, Wade, you need an invite? No, sir. No, sir. Second week of the preseason, and Devin Wade will get a second opportunity under center with the Cowboys. They kind of peeled back the curtain for us. They said he's just going to get one drive again in this game, like last week. And I thought that that was telling, that statement, he's going to get one drive, because if he was impressing this coaching staff, I believe he would be getting more. So this is going to make it very difficult for him to go out there now. One drive, that pressure... He's got to make something happen and something big. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. You know, it's funny when you look down there and see Devin Wade, just anticipate seeing Colt Cruz on the field as well. Yeah, it used to be when you saw one, you could count to three and you would see the other. Not anymore, but I've got to wonder, will Colt Cruz ever get another shot at an NFL roster? If I'm a GM, I bring this guy in. I love his heart and I love his game. To throw on third down. Wade trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a bye-bye Beasley. And touchdown. But Devin Wade leads the offense into the end zone. And even though we are seeing such a small sample size, that really has to help his chances going forward, right? No doubt about it because it's a start. Not much of one, but it's definitely a start for him. But let's face it. How many people know who the fourth string quarterback is? You know, a lot of quarterbacks come into this league, look the part. Have the big arm and all that crap they test at the combines. You know how many of those guys last? Not many. You got your shot because you look like a player. But if it doesn't click up here, you think about what I said. Opponents offense against our base D. Let's go. Stick to the cards, nothing fancy.
Do you need to audible to get into the right play? There's a matchup you can take advantage of. Which one is it? Need me help? Nope, I got this. I I definitely got it. Yes, siree. No doubt uh, about it. Help me, please. <laughs> you know you could just look this up on YouTube. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be seeing you, so nope. Okay. Are you sure you're okay in there? Yep, I am all good. Hey, I gotta go. Okay. All right. Bye. Dinner is served. <clears throat> Okay, there you go. Thanks. Yep. So is that your girlfriend on the phone? What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm, it's a shame. She seems nice. If you take a picture, it'll last longer. Oh, so, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... Good. You like it? I mean, it's okay. Whoa, that is good. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's fine. It's just like I usually make. <laughs> Dad never tried to cook. Well, that does not surprise me. <laughs> Although, I guess I really don't know him all that much. When did he leave? I was three or four. I don't remember anything about him, except for this one picture I got when I'm sitting on his lap and he's got his guitar in front of me. He's you know, teaching me how to play, I guess. <laughs> and now you play? And now I play. Did the same thing with me, but I, Refused to play. Guess I blew it. Well, I mean, it's never too late to learn. I could teach you some chords. I am a big star in Finland, you know. Oh, I had no idea. You've never mentioned it other than all the freaking time. All right, all right, Tell all right. Tell me more. <laughs> Thanks, though. <clears throat> you got it. Just one day after Dallas cut down to three quarterbacks by releasing Mike Schmizniak. The Cowboys are now back to four, feeling the need to add veteran insurance after losing their backup to an MCL tear. Ooh. Boy, you hear this? They're bringing in RG3 to take your spot. That ain't all. Brandon Whedon's coming in, too. Man. 
third, second, fourth. I want a day's work, huh, Rook? <laughs> well, tell her to deal with it. Well, then you deal with it. Because I'm at work right now. Yeah, well, tell Lily I love her. And to deal with it. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. Hey, Dev, how are you? Donnie, you got a sec? Or Dev and Wade, anytime. Come on, have a seat. Thanks. Can I get you some, uh... Hyperion? Oh, no, I'm good. It's ionized. <laughs> it's the kind of crap they give you in this business. They give you cases of it. Anyway, you're better off. Tastes like lemon-infused nothing. So what's up? Okay, so... So Earl said I would be playing Saturday. But now it looks like... I know, I know. Well, after the game, Earl and I had a powwow, and he felt we needed alternatives. Hey, you're frustrated, and I'm frustrated, you know? Here's the way I see it, okay? This is you. You're here. This is your NFL career, all right? Better looking, better looking friends. Your old friends asking to borrow money. Bigger homes. Jewelry for everybody, including me. And this is Earl, getting in the way of all that, okay? Look, you probably think I don't like Earl. No, I'm... I respect the heck out of them, all right? But at a certain point, the old guard has to get out of the way and let the new guard get in there. Look, I'm the one that brought you in here. I know. I want you out there. You've waited long enough. I mean, I agree. I feel ready. You look ready. Can I ask you one question? Yeah, of course. Does, um... Earl seem a little off to you you know like uh he's struggling a little bit wait so you want me to spy on earl hey slow down mr bond i'm just saying if you see something say it see it say it that's all right donnie man thanks for the time i better get out to practice okay buddy want to be late right all right See you out there. Uh, catch you next time. Hans, what are you stretching for? Are you gonna cover me? Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Mr. Cruz? Hey, guys. Hey, man. Hey, I, you mind if I get an autograph, Mr. Cruz? If we get an autograph, uh, you're my favorite bullfrog. We, we all we all seen you play here. They seen us. I'm months this year's geese. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, we're just big fans of long shot. And you see the draft episode. <laughs> Look, uh, I don't know why you'd want something, but yeah, I'll, I'll sign something for you. Well, we don't. We ain't, we ain't got nothing on us. Just thought I'd ask. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that, guys. Um, would you mind if we joined your practice? I mean, your friends are just. I don't know, what I'm saying is, we're athletes. <laughs> sure. Wanna do a little seven on seven? You know what, guys? All this commercial shouldn't, it's got my thyroid acting up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm his ride, so I guess uh, I gotta go too. <sighs> yeah, I saw this coming. <laughs> Seriously, guys, come on. Air coat. We'll play. No way. Come on. Don't be such a wimp. Uh, Mr. Cruz. I don't know if it's such a good idea. Yeah, Lo, I, I don't want you getting hurt, OK? Uh, that's, that's not. These guys haven't won a game. Come on. I'm sure we'll be fine. Ooh. OK. <laughs> uh, OK, then, come on down.
that. Hey, what's the deal with your friend, the one that was throwing darts out there? Why isn't he on the team? You're so clueless. <laughs> why? Oh, oh, oh. I get it. I get it. I see why you like Dylan. Barely ever opens his mouth. <laughs> He's deaf, Colt! What? Yeah. He's new here, and when he signs, people make fun of him. But he throws the ball so well that... Oh, way to miss the point. Gosh, you are so insensitive. You don't understand Wait, anyone but yourself. You don't care about anyone. Wait a minute. What, what did I say? Ugh. What did I say? <coughs> Gosh. Hey. Hey, give me that. Are you okay, Coach? I'm fine. Leave it. Hey, Coach, are you sure you're okay? Would be better if you didn't go behind my back. You're always against me. Uh, what's that? I didn't hear you. Speak up. Nothing. You got something to say to me, son. Have a spine and say it to my face. I said you're always against me. Against you? <laughs> against you. You know my wife, Wanda, she couldn't have kids. It's the reason why I got into this in the first place. Because I wanted to be a father to someone. But once you're in, you realize there's a lot of decline. High school, you're chasing college. College, you're chasing the pros. Linebacker's coach, you got to be defensive coordinator. Defensive coordinator, you got to be head coach. Better pay, better position, better team, more prestige. I'm saying to my wife, look, this will be hard, but next year there'll be more money. Next year there'll be more time. And she waited for me, but there was never next year. Now I can't do anything about it. I'm far from what I wanted and haven't been a father to nobody. But now my wife's gone. I can barely hear or walk around cockeyed, hands shaking, and for what? Grown men chasing a ring. You know, I've never been a head coach. Never won a Super Bowl. But what does it matter? My life. <laughs> you never get it back, son. 
You never get it back once it's gone. Coach, I'm really sorry, man. That's all right, that's right. Look, you can go. You sure you don't want me to? No, 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 leave it. You can go. All right. And listen, after this, don't think you know something. Or that I'll be playing favorites, because I won't. Of course not. All right, Coach. If we merge, there's state money, public funding in Beville, and we can play in a stadium these boys deserve. And then you just want to what? Abandon the Mathis football legacy? I oh, mean... cult, please. Let me get one thing straight here. Now, seems to me that the first step in that is finding out the value of things. And the value of things has nothing in the world to do with uh, green-colored paper. <laughs> value of this team is not something you can touch. Not something you can hold in your hand. Unless, <laughs> of course, we're talking about the, the uh, state uh, championship trophy, and you can hold that in your hand. <laughs> You know, what I'm talking about is a feeling that I have from my toes to the last hair on my head to the core of my heart. It's a feeling of pride, of value to this town. Now, if we have to merge and move, then we have to merge and move. But if there are avenues that we have not explored, for God's sake, let's explore them. Let's try to find out who we are before we mortgage our souls for something as measly as money. <laughs> I've kept you long enough. <laughs> Colt. <laughs> I get you some? Like a you who? If, if I've got any advice for you, don't age. <laughs> <laughs> Since, since you're going to be hanging around here, I figured you might want to make a little extra money. And uh, I need a, an assistant coach. The boy seemed to like you pretty well. Uh, well, Coach, I, I appreciate the offer. I really do, but I don't know how long I'm going to actually be hanging around Mathis. I mean, I figure any day now an NFL team can call, and I got to be ready to go, you know? Okay. Fetch what's important. <laughs> so what? So I can't do what Devin's doing? Why don't you get on the phone, call him? Tell him to come home, offer him a job, huh? Hey, don't get yourself all lathered up. I'm just offering to let you do something for pay. I figure if you're tearing up my field every evening, then you might as well help with a little practice. But if it'd kill you to do that, do that then uh, that's all right. But I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I could use the company. Look, Coach, I'm... I'm sorry, I got a little riled up in there. I just... Just know I'm happy to help. But anything long term, I I can't promise that. What? Yeah, sometimes you miss what's important by having your eye trained on something else. Okay, what are you saying? Oh, just an old man talking. <laughs> 
not the big screen. You know it's huge. It's not toe drag swag. It's not angry runs. But it's your take, Nate, on a guy I know yeah. you love, long shot Devin Wade. What do yeah. you got? Wade's got one preseason game left. Common sense tells you with the injury to the back of quarterback, that would have helped. Mm. But the team brought in RG3 and Brandon Whedon, which means he went from second string to fighting for a third string roster spot. Pour one out for RG3. I missed that, man. We need him back, Nate. In the meantime, any other storylines surrounding Wade we should all be looking at? Well, listen, I'm hearing that Wade and my guy, late round draft pick, Tito Flavors. Yeah! Best name in football. Best name in the world. Listen, I heard they got great chemistry, so we'll see if that goes from the practice field to an actual preseason game. Tito Flavors has all the flavors, the Neapolitan ice cream of football players. Thank you, Nate. Two long shots looking to make a difference. So, uh, I am going to be helping Hank out with the team for a little bit, and I was wondering if Dylan might want to play. I mean, Lord knows we could use him. I don't know. Why don't you try asking him? Uh, because I don't speak hand. Sign language. Or that. <laughs> he can read lips. And I can teach you some sign language if you want it. That sounds fun. Put me on your roster. Although I have been told I am dumber than a bucket full of hammers, <laughs> so until that point, I might need your help coaching him. Coaching? You mean it? Yeah. Better together, right? I, 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 you gotta do it three times like this. One, two, three, and then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot, I am so late. I gotta go see coach. Well, then let's go. Well, this final preseason game, always interesting. Guys fighting for those final few roster spots, and here comes Devin Wade, one last chance to make a lasting impression. And he has to get that playing time tonight, and let's face it, this is where we are. Guys on the bubble trying to make the team, and there are a bunch of guys who are not going to make the team, but they're playing, hoping someone will see them on film and pick them up if they get cut. So it's a huge night for Devin Wade. No matter what his playing time is, he has to impress. Throwing on first down. Wayne. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Looking to throw. Wade. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There are a lot of tough routes to try and cover. When you see a runner come out of the backfield and run this angle route, looks like they're going to the flat, and then they put their foot in the ground and cut back sharply inside, not easily covered, and then when they catch it, good momentum built up by them as well. And able to pick up the first. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. The intended receiver, Tavon Austin. And that'll bring up second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage is way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very different. And it's caught. Touchdown. So Devin Wade about to begin his second series. Take us inside his mind right now. What do you think is going on? Do you have any advice for what he can do here? I'm going to give you some of that tried and true advice that sounds a little trite, but it's something he has to exploit. And that is just take what the defense gives you right now. 
Use your legs when necessary to break off bigger chunks when you get comfortable, but just go ahead, make it easy for yourself. Look good doing it. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Throwing on first down. Wade shrugs him off. He's going to lock one deep over the middle. That's going to be caught. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Nice drive there for Devin Wade. And everything he does right now, so under a microscope, kind of sense that he's like, oh, all right, I had a good drive. I, I can breathe for a minute. So you're saying he can't really be happy about that drive. He can feel a little relief. Relief. Here's the key, though. He still has a few drives left. I'm sure the coaches like that drive. He did as well. But he has to string them together, stack them together in order to create that great last impression and make the team. The Devin Wade's time on the field is about running out. The word we're getting is he's going to have this drive, Charles, and then one more. So that means his mindset has to be clear. He has to be focused. Two drives Set. left. Has to get done what's necessary to create that great impression. Delta, Delta. push his way forward here for a good little gain. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight. Now. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. To throw on second down. Wade. And it's caught. Touchdown. All right, we've been setting them up for this play all night. They're going to be in a cover, too. So you take a five-step drop, find Reggie on the sideline. When he breaks the corner, you sling it. We'll get out of here with a win. All right, let's do it. Hey, look for your boy in the post. I'll be open. Hey, it's not the play, man. Come on, Wade. It'll work, man. And you need this. Just let Tito be Tito. All right, here we go, fellas. Eyes on me. All right, we're going to go red, right, 82, buzz, wide corner. Check alert, Ozzy right, opposite, 27, Cardinal. All right? On three, on three. Who's right with me, boys? Here we go. Ready, break! Come on, man. I'm telling you, find me. I'll catch it. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Throwing on third and long. Wade, touchdown, Devin to Flavors. Congratulations for keeping you around. What? <laughs> Practice squad at first. But you keep doing the work, and I don't think you'll be there long. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice job, Camp Arm. Welcome to the team. Thanks, Mac. Welcome to the scout team, gentlemen. Your job is to get the defense ready for what they'll see on Sunday. Wade, you got a tough job this week. We're facing Tom Brady, the greatest. We need you to be him today. Got it. Set.
Have you seen this yet? Devin Wade showing off at practice, launches the ball 80 yards. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Hello? Wait, seriously? Yeah, that's, that's great. Wow. Um, well, you can bring as many guys as you want in, but I'm going to impress you the most. <laughs> Tomorrow? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I can be wherever you need me to be. Okay, thank you. Come on, pick up, pick up. Dolphins call, Coach. Bringing me out for a tryout tomorrow. Coach. Coach. Hank. Hank! Wake up! Stay with me, Coach. Help! Help! Somebody help! Hey, Donnie. You wanted to see me? Hey, Dev. Come on in. Yep. Have a seat. What's up? Well, the last time you were here was the superstar you. <laughs> I just want to play, Coach. Then there was Grumpy Earl. Oh, I need Devin to do 100 more push-ups. And then there was me, a beacon of support and unconditional love. I support Devin. I'm in his team. I'm the one who signed him. OK. Now imagine that viral video as some sort of rocket fuel jetpack. Oh, no. Devin's succeeding. Oh, we can't have that. Where's my value? Oh, don't overshoot your landing. We're a team. We're in this together. I'm the one aside. And that's exactly what happened. I set you up with that viral video. Rocket fuel. But now my hands are tied. You get it, right? Um, uh, yeah. I, yeah. Um. All right. I'll spell it. I'll spell it out for you. You've been signed over from our practice squad by the Houston Texans. You leave tomorrow. <laughs> I thought we were a team. Wow, you. But I guess congratulations are in order. You got what you wanted. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh man. Is, uh, is, is Earl in his office? I wanted to tell him thanks before I... No. He resigned this morning. His health. Take this. Oh, I'm gonna need it. For the next guy. Something to remember him by. Thanks. Hey. Good luck, kid. Welcome back to Good Morning Football. So, the Texans stumble out of the gate. Bill O'Brien takes a season-long leave of absence. They lure NFL legend Bill Cowher out of retirement to finish the year and then make a huge trade for Antonio Brown. All that only to have franchise quarterback Deshaun Watson go down for at least the next three weeks. So the question is, can Devin Wade help this team stay afloat until Watson returns? You're the one responsible for them keeping me here. Coach, you can't move on your left side like at all. I can still move better than most. 
you in your office is because I was coming to tell you that the Dolphins are giving me a tryout. I mean, this... <laughs> this could be my last chance here. I'm not begging you. I'm asking you. Adult to adult. <sighs> Coach, I, I told you. Yeah, maybe you did. When I was a boy, all I ever wanted to do was ride bulls. <laughs> That's what I did for three years. On tour from Kissimmee to Calgary. It's a wonder I didn't break my dang neck. I did break my back. I come home, wallowed around. Oh, I don't know how long. Till a fella came and offered me an opportunity I didn't think I wanted. I thought, well, I'll. I'll heal up and get back on tour. And then I thought about it. I thought about my real situation. Then I took that job the next day. <laughs> Uh, it might seem funny hiring a bull rider to teach my high school football. But it was a different time in those days. And uh, must have been some smarts to it because I've been coaching in Mathis for 30 years. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. The close second was that girl kissing me on the head when I took a bad fall at the Chico Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> but all of this has really little to do with importance of winning this game, saving the team. All the work I've done. Flushed away in an instant. I can't. You can't what? I can't stay, Coach. I gotta go see what I'm worth here. Don't let them decide. In the final analysis, you are the one that's gotta make the decision. I know. Look, I can talk to Geese about coaching the team, or, no, or maybe... No, 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 I'll, I'll take care of you. You go ride your ball. Thank you, Coach. I just have to know. I disagree. But... I do understand. See you when you're back up on your feet. Hey. 
Hey. Why are you packing? Dolphin's cold. I gotta try out Miami tomorrow. Well, what if you make it? <laughs> then I'll be a Miami Dolphin, baby. Yeah, but where will you live? Uh, Miami, I assume. What about me? Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, we'll, we'll just call your dad, okay? You're joking. Right? Please tell me that you're joking. You don't even have his number. Look, I ain't got that far, okay? This is so stupid. It's not stupid for me. You're not even any good. If you were, you'd already be on a team. Okay, I'm not the one who's any good here. Am I the one whose father dropped her off with a complete and total stranger? Huh? You're just like him. Look, I didn't... You are mean, selfish, and stupid! Well, I didn't ask for this. Okay? <laughs> I had a plan here. It's all my fault. I actually thought you cared about me. <laughs> oh, come on. I can't believe it. You're actually gonna go. <laughs> Loretta, please understand. I gotta do this. And, and I can find someone to look after you while I'm gone, okay? Wait. Gentlemen, injuries have made it, so we're looking for a receiver to join us right away. We're looking for speed, good hands, and a willingness to go over the middle. If all goes well, one of you will be a Miami Dolphin by noon. Everything okay? Um, not really, Coach. Well, I've got some good news that'll cheer you up. Welcome to the Dolphins. I made it? Yeah. Coach liked your speed. 
Well, thank you, Coach. Um, I'm gonna let you down. You'll see. All right. Let's get you upstairs and do some paperwork. Okay. I'll be up in just a second. Turn the punt, the former long shot co star Colt Cruz just signed this week by the Dolphins. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Dodges him at the 50. Yes, coach. Get in there, slot receiver. Make some plays. I might let you stay in. Yes, sir, coach. <laughs> well, the Dolphins, look here. They're making a substitution. They're going to trot Colt Cruz out at wide receiver. Another chance for him to make an impression. Yeah, and that's what his number one goal is. I think he's made an impression already. Just Colt Cruz getting onto an NFL field, getting an opportunity. We saw him on long shot. Now we're seeing him here getting his chance in an NFL game. Charles, I want to get in more of the Colt Cruz discussion because so many people are wondering about this kid. And, and look, his and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Cruz, I think we've seen enough for today. Sit down. Well, coach, sit down. Needed to be here, Colt. <laughs> Loretta, listen. Hey, I know I should have never left Mathis. I, I am so sorry. If you care about people. You don't. You don't just leave them. I know. I know. <sighs> but guess what? I'm not letting you get rid of me. How about that? I talked to Cash, and we agreed that I could move down here with you. She's serious, Colt. You know, Mathis ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you know, I'd love that. But they cut me. Colt. I'm sorry. You gonna get him next time, son. <sighs> All right, Hank. I just need you to give me a sign or something. I can't believe that. I can't believe I'm talking about what happened. Now. I just need something. Can't do this, right? <gasps> Look, I'm freaking out, man. You need to get in there. What's the score? We're down twenty-eight, nothing. <sighs> okay. Hey, here, take this. He wanted you to have it. I can't take that, man. Hold on to it till you're ready. Y'all mind if I come in?
I know you're hurting over Hank. And I know I should have been here, but I, I wasn't. Because I was, well, I was being a selfish jerk. But I'm back. And I am here now, and I want to help. If you'll let me. Now, I may not know what the future holds, but I know that we got a lot more fight left in us. And I am asking you right now for the honor of leading you back onto that field and trying to get a win tonight. You can start by moving me to running back and put Dylan in a QB. Okay. You okay with that? He's ready. Wendell, I'll be sending plays in with you. You relay it to the rest of the team. Loretta, sign plays into Dylan, okay? Let me hear four Hank on three. One, two, three! Four Four Hank. Hank. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go. Come on. Well, what do you know, folks? Looks like we found ourselves a new coach here. He look familiar to you, Randy? Huh? Wait, that's Colt! The cruise missile! Holy cheese fries! Is he taking over? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That holy cheese fries is my line, Randy. Uh, hey, where'd he come from? What uh, you telling me Colt was in Miami? That's what I read on the Dolphins message board. Guess it don't matter now. No, it sure don't. So Mathis will take over on offense after the kick return. The both probably. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, Cal. Who is that? Randy, they over 15,000 people here. Could you be a touch more specific, please? That kid standing next to Wendell. I think it says leg gun on the back of his jersey. Who is he? Well, I said they have to make some changes. Look like they are. All right, so, Rhino, give me the lowdown here. Who is Carlos Guzman, outside of being one of our biggest sponsors? Well, for one, he's Geese's dad. I'm surprised he didn't know that. Play with Devin and Colt. Yeah. You remember all that. He owns the largest construction firm in the county. Now, Carlos... I'll tell you, he's a very wealthy and powerful man. You don't want to mess with him. First down, here's Wendell. Nice pickup, and that'll be a first down. All right, Randy, what do we got to do to get back into this game? I don't know, Cal. I mean, we ain't got a lot of talent on offense. Maybe this new kid can do something. I don't know. I do see the Colt move Wendell to the running back. Now, that was a smart move, Cal. Mm -hmm. That kid just ain't got the arm to play quarterback. No, he didn't. And Wendell with the ball. And he will be taken down after a big game there. Big old run there, but no dang first down. Yeah, that's all right. They got him on their heels right now. I'd run it down their throats again. Second down on a long drive. Let's keep her going. Second down, Dylan drops back. This is caught hey, by Lucas. Lucas! Woo! And that's oh, caught. Lucas feeling Luke in the end zone. <laughs> yeah! Well, this change of quarterback has clearly made a difference for the Bullfrogs. And, and you know, I like this kid. He's got Moxie. Moxie? White. Is he contagious? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, no, Cal. That's why I always get my flu shot. Mm -hmm. Just never know. All right, all right, Randy. That's what makes a great quarterback being diseased. Let's go, Bullfrogs. What are they gonna do? He'll throw. They set up the screen. That's complete. I hate calling screens when you don't need to. Just overthinking it. Come on. Second in a mile for Mathis. Second down, Dylan drops back. And it's over the middle to Willie Pryor. Hey, can I get another uh, hot dog? Shoot, Cal. That was a nice skinny post route. Good catch, too, for a big old game. They're in the shotgun. Dylan from the gun. Decent little pickup, but he's going to be brought down. So, Jimbo Harvey. Oh, yeah, right, right, now. Okay, he shows up late to practice, tries to sneak out on the field, right? Hank stops him, tells him to drop and do push-ups for the rest of practice. <laughs> practice ended an hour later. <laughs> oh, Moses, that's a lot of push-ups. Sure was. That was a lot. <laughs> Jimbo! 
think this is a part of the game plan? No doubt there, Cal. Definitely. Get Wendell out of the backfield. Let him make some plays. All right, here we go, Randy. First and goal. Here we go is right, Cal. Score here. We get that much closer. And he'll lose yards on this play. Backed up near, well, let's say his five-yard line. If they can't block that end, it's going to be a long night. Got to put a body on him, coach. Come on. On second down, Dylan the throw. We did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, oh, Cal, come on, let's go celebrate. Nacho's on me. Wow, that's very kind of you, Randy. No, Cal, I meant literally. I spilled the nachos, the cheese is on, on me. Uh, they're on me. It belongs to you now. Better get in there, coach. It's your team now. Thank you, Keys. We've heard what Carlos has to say about the merger. Unfortunately, without Hank here to represent the team. Rest in peace, Hank. Rest in peace. But I will open up the floor. This town needs the Bullfrogs. This town needs Mathis High School football. It's the fabric of this town. <laughs> I could tie every single person in this room to the benefits of Mathis football. Not to mention the town itself. I mean, we did win state in 2012, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> that was with Hank at the helm. And as much as I hate to say it, this merger is gonna... Oh, hold on now. Just hold on a second. Now, I know I'm no Hank. But I do believe I know what he would say if he were here. He would say what he told us in the locker room every single day. Football is family. And without football, we're no longer a family. Yes, Colt. Mathis football is family. But if there's no Mathis, then where does the family go? As a boy in the Japa de Madero, Mexico, I watched the logging industry dissolve before my eyes, forcing everyone to leave. I can't let that happen to this town that I love, that I call home. So, we merge, we get a stadium deal, I hire half of Mathis to build it, and next thing you know, Mathis is buzzing again. With all due respect, Pops, this ain't Mexico, and you're in it for the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, mijo, that money is how I acquired 90% of the businesses in this town. And if we continue on the same path, it won't be only the football team that is forced to leave. Is that a threat to the home you say you love so much? Order, yeah, order. You can't shut us up. Come on now. So well, now. either way, <laughs> We still don't have a coach. Colt will be our coach. No, man. You should do this. I mean, I could be gone at any minute. Give me a second. Are you kidding me right now? Look, my dad knows without Hank, he's got the boat. The only person he's afraid of in here is you. Look, Geese, I can't do it. Okay, I'm a player. I'm not a coach. What are you quit lying to yourself? No one is calling. Hey. I'm done fooling with you. There's bigger things at stake here than you riding the bench on some NFL team. Yeah, well, at least I'm trying, Geese. What exactly are you doing here? I'm here standing up to my father. I'm here standing up for Bullfrogs football. <laughs> okay. One game at a time. Yeah. Yeah. But you're with me every step of the way. And if the NFL 
what comes calling, you're taking over. Is that a deal? Deal. Let's do it. Let's do it. Colts in. A coach and no money. The state of Texas will give a million towards a joint stadium. Gabriel, what can you offer? We don't need a million dollars for Mathis, Carlos. 500,000. I can raise half that. We'll crowdsource it. I'll help. And if we win out, you put up the hundred, two hundred, three thousand dollars. <laughs> Mi hijo, por favor. Come on. This isn't a movie. It's not make believe. Winning doesn't make money fall from the sky. I'm standing right here facing the facts. Yes, you are. Okay. I'll make you a deal. If this team makes the playoffs and the city raises $250,000, I'll match it on one condition. Name it. If the money is raised and this team wins out at the time I hand out the check, Colt must commit to Mathis football by signing a three-year contract. Colt? Yes or no? Everyone's waiting for you. Okay. I'll do it. You know you're better at this than I am? And <laughs> that's try. <laughs> hey, boy, come on, bring it in. Come on, on double, on double, let's go. <clears throat> All right, take a knee. <clears throat> hey, everyone. Now, I know a lot of the talk lately has been you better win or else. That's not true. What you need to do is focus. Focus on playing hard and playing smart. That's it. I say you're driving across country. Now, you ain't going to do 3,000 miles in a minute. You got to drive within the headlights. Worry about what's in front of you. And the next thing you know, you're going to find success. Because the next thing you know, you're going to be in California. Drive within the headlights. You know what? I like that. I like that a lot. So that's what we're going to do. Let me hear focus on three. Go home and get some rest. One, two, three. Focus. Go home and get some rest. No, no just focus. Go home. Scoot over. Let me do this. Oh, you can add photos? Yes. This whole time? This whole time. Look it. Drag and drop. Save Mathis. Sure are. Let's drive within those headlights. That's right. gonna call the same plays Hank always has? Ah, of course he is, Cal. I love Colt, but he's not the brightest kid. He's not the brightest bulb in the bucket. You know, we should be saying, seeing plenty of fullback dives, quarterback draws, maybe a halfback toss in there. I mean, it ain't gonna get crazy. You're not gonna see those razzle-dazzle plays you see in the NFL. All right, here we go. What are the bullfrogs gonna do? All right. 
The gun in the shotgun. Toward the center of the field, but that's incomplete. You go to that meeting the other night, Randy? Sure did. And I was proud of Geese for standing up to his dad. I mean, that took guts, now, Cal. As Hank has always said, this town needs a spark, right? And that there might have been it. Those boys are right. Football is family. I think you're on something there, Cal. Uh, maybe. You know, you're my family. Solid game there. And that will be a first down for the Bullfrogs. Randy, do you have an update on the stadium funding? Why, yes, I do, Cal. Coach sister Loretta has started a fundraising webpage for the stadium. We're doing our part two starting in the second half tonight. We'll be taking calls live on the air. Any donation helps no matter how little it is, folks. Now think of it as a stadium telethon. And what is that number, Randy? Oh, it's just my cell number. I'm guessing everyone still has that number from when I gave it out on the air last time. All right, folks, it's time for Randy's fan site segment. Woo! What have you got this <laughs> week, Randy? Well, folks, I broke down the job Colt did as a coach last week, and I have some intel from a source in the Texans organization. A source? Uh-huh. My cousin Charlie. He's in waste management there. Oh, crying out loud. No, no, no. He's inside source. Anything else on the fan site? Oh, yeah. Cal, I, I added a new poll. Nobody voted on it, though, except for me. See, my nephew Ricky tells me I need to increase traffic to the site. That's what they say, increase traffic. Hopefully, Devin gets a chance to play in one of these upcoming games, and that'll get those people on the web to visit. I'm excited. Yeah. You gonna go? You gonna vote? I'm holding my breath. Second down, Dylan drops back. Dylan takes off. Oh, come on! And dropped almost a pick. Hey there, Cal. So, uh, you know, I told you about that woman I was thinking of asking out. Tammy? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I asked her out, and she said yes. Yeah. Good. Well, uh, I mean, good. Right? Yep. Yeah. We went on our first date last night. Well, uh, I'll tell you more in a second. Big catch for Lucas there on the first There you day. go. Come on. Whoa, that kid may be small, Cal, but he's got pretty good hands, I'm telling you. That's a nice catch. Bullfrogs have first and goal here. Come on, guys. Come on. Dylan will be back in the shotgun. Just what we needed. Oh, oh. Now, I I'm a little scared of those plays Coach called. But maybe a little excited, too, Cal. If I'm being honest, I kind of have both feelings going on in me right now. Buckle up, Rhino. Ooh. Final drive here down 40 to 35 in a barn burn. Our offense is smoking, Cal. Come on, now, we got this. I'm already getting ready for next week's game. <laughs> Brand new drive, first and ten. Let's see what they do. Back in the shotgun. Finding time. That one will fall incomplete, and it will bring us to second down. Oh, wait a second, Cal. I'm getting our first telephone call. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, ma'am. No, no, I, I mailed that. It's in the mail. No, I, I understand. No, I... Randy, Don't turn Randy, it up. Randy, Don't turn Randy it off. hang up the I'm, phone. All right, we're sorry about that, folks. Bill collectors, <laughs> golly, most. Defense looks like they expecting a throw. Third down, Dylan the throw. Surveying the field. And Boudreaux is right. going to make the first catch. He'll pick up the first down. <laughs> all right, Bobby, baby, Bobby, baby. Now that was oh, a full-time play. That's one of them splash plays, Cal. <laughs> At least that's what Devin and Cole called him back in the day. Dylan will throw. And incomplete. Now we got a second down coming. See, I might need to take a walk around here. I can't look right now. I, 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 I need. It's getting way too tight. It's getting way too anxious. I'm. I'll see you in a bit, there, Cal. And Keon Moore gets another one right there over the middle. Uh-huh. Taking after his older brother, isn't he? Well, now, no disrespect to Keon, but his brother would have broke 50 tackles on that run, scored easily. But, you know, got a first down at least. Yeah, give him time. Let him grow up. And neither one of them gets it incomplete. I hope he realizes that if he was double covered, somebody else was open. Can't make mistakes like that this close to pay dirt. Second and ten. On second down, it's old Foxy with the carry. Touchdown! Yeah, Bullfrogs! Yeah, 
Should see oh, I know. I tell you, Cal, this win just became real, real important. Cal, we're we're gonna have to win the next two now. No, like this. Uh, try it. Here. Mm. Please, please, please donate if you can. It'll feel good. Once. Come on, it will. Donate. Mathis comes back out and, well, wait a dang minute here. Wendell Chase is back at quarterback. What in tarnation? Dylan must be hurt. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but I sure hope Colt has some tricks up his sleeve. This defense is no joke. First and ten. Here we go. First and ten and a new drive. And that'll work. A nice run there. Oh, hold on. Get another call here, Cal. One sec. Okay. Hello? Sure. $36. Hey. Well, that's perfect. Thank you, Ms. Adams. All right. Another big donation. Hey, come on, Cal. Some people ain't got a lot. You know that. They give what they can. I know they do. Didn't mean to sound sarcastic. We appreciate the donation, Ms. F. Come on, Cal. This game plan makes sense to you, Randy? It's brilliant. I'm telling you, Dylan gets hurt, so Colt has to go back to Wendell. Instead of calling the same plays, he's using his running ability to wear down the Rattler defense. And they're getting tired out there, Cal. You see that? Seeing a lot of hands on the hips. <laughs> it's a sure sign. Hey, uh, Cal. I heard a rumor last night from uh, Walt Prinsky. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Apparently, Carlos, who is an amazing sponsor, by the way, has already finished the designs for the new merged stadium. Walt had a business meeting with him and saw the stadium model on his desk. He would? Yep. Ain't looking good, Cal. Not one bit. And he's taken down right past the 20-yard line. Short gain on the run. Cal got me a new gig on Saturday afternoons. I'm the voice of the hey. Mathis Pee Wee Football League, calling every single game. Well, hey, it's a big step up for you, Rhino. Just doing play-by-play. -play. And some color. Touchdown! Touchdown, Bullfrogs! Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew it! Wendell Chase comes through in a big way on the road, Randy. He sure did. Now, you got to give credit to Coach Cruz for switching up the game plan on him. Great job, Bullfrogs. Gentlemen, we need one. Stop. Keep them out of the end zone here, and we win this game. You want me a corner again? Have to. I need you out there. I want you on 88 all the time. Coach, he's all district. He's like six inches taller than me. I don't care if he shoots lasers out of his butt. You ain't no football dummy. Stay on it. Now let's go out there, and let's bring this game home. Let's do it. I believe in you guys. Go! Let's go! Let's go, boys! One final drive for the Rancho Banchetti Rattlers. We hold them here, and we come away with the win. Hey, uh, Cal, yeah, I've ever yeah, told you about... Yeah, right, zip it, Randy. i got to stay focused here. He'll throw. That'll move the ball in the right direction. That's right. Keep going. Sack him again. He's gonna throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Oh, the donation's coming. Just check the website. Not great. I'll give them the red end months of credit, though. Their hearts are in it. Gonna need a lot more than heart to raise that money, Randy. We need, we need another miracle. Amen. He'll throw. 
That was one heck of a stand by the Bulldogs defense. Man, Cal, they look like the 85 Bears. Man, oh man! So the streak continues, but next week's is crucial. And it's against Beeville. Oh, no. Seriously, Beeville? See, now they're good. If you pledge $100, you will receive two tickets to the Bullfrog's final home game and a jar of Lanny Munz's homemade barbecue sauce. Oh, man. Lanny. Tasty. Mm. <laughs> you got to try this. Come here. Hello. Yeah, sure, I can do that. See you then. <laughs> Would you like some lemonade? Uh, I had the lemons flown in from Argentina. Easier now with the band lifted. <laughs> sure. Oh, please. So why did you call me here? <laughs> right to business. <laughs> A man after my own heart. <laughs> well, first, I want to congratulate you on your success. Hmm. Well, we are three and four now. One went away from fending off that merger, so. That's great. That's great. So, the money's raised? Um, not yet. Still got a little ways to go, but we're winning, and the town have given every penny they can, so I'm confident. Oh, nice. So, you ready to sign the contract? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a cross that bridge when we get to it situation. Right now, I'm just focused on Beeville, oh. and they're seven to one, so there are no guarantees there. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Which brings me to the reason I wanted to meet. I wonder what it is that Colt Cruz wants. Colt Cruz wants to beat Beeville, raise a ton of money, fend off that merger, and then the world is my oyster. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, with your best friend in the NFL, I can't help but wonder, shouldn't Cold Cruz be there too? The NFL? <laughs> yeah, but uh... Have you heard of uh, Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, I've heard of Jerry Jones, <laughs> Mr. Guzman. Yeah. Well, as a Texas builder, you can imagine I have some connections to him. I'd be very happy to make a call. I get what you're saying. I should follow my dreams. Exactly. So I'll be out of your way. No, Cole. I'm saying follow your dreams so we'll thrive. <laughs> See, this winning has been fun. But it creates distraction, not industry. You don't think I see it, but I know exactly who you are. Taking down portraits of all the bullfrog greats, taking down portraits of Hank. Oh, Colt, times change. You're not gonna erase the past. No, but you can look to the future. <laughs> that lemonade sucks. <laughs>
with Watson out and Jones shaken up, it appears that we are going to see the NFL debut of rookie Devin Wade. Absolutely unbelievable, partner, because two months ago, we saw Devin Wade play, and we thought he might be Six. cut. But think about now, since long shot, where he did struggle with a number of things, Baptist. that time he spent Baptist. with Coach Earl Coates has really paid Houston, off for him. Houston. He's going to need to apply it right here, right now. Looking to throw. Wade. Miller on the catch over the middle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. First and ten, Devin Wade drops back. Dancing to his left. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Gosh, I kind of didn't realize it until now, Charles, but that's the first time he's targeted Antonio Brown. Are you surprised? I am because he's the type of guy that you should go to as a rookie quarterback. You find Brown, you find DeAndre Hopkins, and let them make plays for you. He might be reading what the defense is doing to try and take him away, but he has to understand. Go ahead and force it to him every now and then. He'll make a play for you. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Devin will throw. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Here we go again with the offense. Charles, what do you expect from Coach Cower and the Texans here? Do they try to cater to what Devin Wade does best? It's always a good idea. Get your quarterback comfortable, make him feel like he's really into the game. So I would expect a little more play-action passing because I think they can beat the Cowboys' defense if, and it's a big if, if they can avoid the pass rushers. Play-action slows them down a little bit. It gives Devin a few more seconds to find people downfield. First down, Wayne. He's going to float this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. A huge play there for Houston. 61 yards. That completion puts Devin over 100 yards for the game. Pretty impressive for a guy who didn't even play in the first half. Had to get comfortable and in a hurry when he got on the field. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Delta, Delta. They go play action with Devin. Blitz coming, and down he goes. 
But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. This is caught, and they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. When hit that, he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Malik Collins able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one. Any loss of yardage in this position. Oh, interception. Devin Wade throws the pick. Not the way he wanted to end this drive. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. This is probably the last shot for Devin Wade and the Texans. And hey, what an opportunity. You're down for your first regular season NFL action and a chance to get a game-winning drive. And what feels like a pressure situation really isn't. A lot less than what people expect. No one expects them to win the game. This is caught inside the 15. A huge play there for Houston. 64 yards. A first down, and Devin is now over 200 yards passing. You talk about settling in nicely. Yeah, this is crazy, isn't it? Because I don't think any of us saw this coming. Not even us who have seen Devin since long shot and seen him develop. This has been very impressive, and the whole team is gaining momentum. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. It's never a bad idea to try and get it to Antonio Brown, but there must be a little bit of the Madden curse going on for our cover athlete here. Hasn't been able to get that elite separation that we're used to seeing from him. Throwing again. Wade. And his throw is incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And it's third down. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. I'm impressed, and I'll be honest, a little bit shocked. The Texans find a way to win, and they do it behind the arm of third-string quarterback Devin Wade. Hey, Devin, you got a second? Yeah, Coach. Let's come in. I'm going to talk to you for a second. Now, I could go on and on about why this game matters or what this game could mean to you in your future or how many people in this town are going to buy you ice cream for a month if we win, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to simplify it for you because it is simple. Get that. I'm going to simplify it for you because it is simple. What? I'm trying to coach a game in here. Hey, sorry to interrupt, fellas. Yeah. Uh, you mind if I come in for a second? No, come on. Get your butt in here. No, it's just, uh, I, I brought some friends, too, so if they could come in, too. I don't care who you brought. Just get them in here quick. I got a game to coach. All right, coach. Fellas. <clears throat> yeah, just some friends. Coaches. Coaches. Coach Cowles. I mean, uh, coaches. Yeah. You're, you're, uh... You're Deshaun Watson. I sure am. And he's Antonio Brown. What's up, little man? <laughs> I want to cover you one day. Let him laugh. I'll stay healthy, so you'll get your chance. <laughs> Look, guys, we just wanted to come down and say, hey, lend our support. Uh, it's, it's a big game for you guys, and uh, Coach Carroll was generous enough to give us the day. So uh, you guys get after him out there. You guys good for autographs out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Good luck tonight, Colt. Uh, Mr. Uh, Coach. Uh, yeah, Coward, you know. uh, Bill, uh, would you... Uh, you know how big this game is, right? I, I do. I, and because of that, would you mind uh, saying a couple you words? You got this. No, I mean, you... I got, you're I, you. I got, I got, I got, Good, I got, I got. thank you. Um, hey, <laughs> listen, I'm going to talk to you guys tonight. Um, you know, Colt and Devin, um, they're you. They came from here. And what they represent are people that never forgot where they came from. And the opportunity that you have tonight is you are part 
of a game that's more than a game. Yes, I want you to go out there. I want you to play hard. I want you to play smart. I want you to play physical and play together. But what you represent is more than the bullfrogs. You represent a community, Mathis. And you know what you're going to show them tonight? It's about resiliency. What you represent tonight is spirit. If you get knocked down, you get back up. And you show what a community can do when you all come together. That's the opportunity you have tonight. That's the responsibility you have tonight. And I couldn't be more proud and more excited to watch a group of young men bring a community back together. Kick some butt tonight. Go go for Huh. Well, there's one of the benefits of having a coach with some NFL connections, huh? <laughs> I want to hear Mathis on three. One, two, three. Mathis. Mathis. Let's go, baby. Woo! Hey, Colt. You know, Devin's not here to bail you out tonight, right? Oh, what a weirdo. Do you guys have history? You don't even want to know. Mario? Hey, man, why don't you stop yapping and get ready for the game? Get ready for what? You? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I love the coaching staff, Colt. What you stealing from, choir? Oh! Okay, we're done. Good oh. luck tonight, Mario. Okay. <clears throat> You're really gonna let him say that stuff? That's just Mario. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Don't let him get in your head. Trust me on that. <sighs> no mercy rule tonight, bro. But hey, I might take some of your plays and add them to my playbook after the merger, huh? Well, Randy, here we go. The big showdown with Beeville. Oh, man. We don't win this. We might be playing on their field next season. Yuck. Man, hey, hey, you see who their coach is? Freaking Mario Gonzalez. Really? I can't see that far anymore. Cal, you would act like this is at t Stadium. We're maybe ten rows up. Randy, it's a dang joke. I'm calling the play-by-plays. Of course I can see the dang field. Hey, I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> what a run. you got to be kidding me. Man. First and ten, nice long drive so far. From the gun. That one will fall incomplete, and it will bring us to second down. Well, they threw the bomb, tried to get one of those splash plays, just couldn't connect it. No splash there. Second and ten. Dylan drops back again. Finding time. And a short game that time as they're able to get him down. Nice little QB run there. Yeah, I'll take it. Keep getting positive yards. Come on now. Defense looks like they expected him to throw it here. Third down, Dylan the throw. And Bobby Bufo has the first. They get him down right around the 35-yard line. Just take what they give you. Easy conversion, because the defense sat back and let them take it. First and ten for the Bullfrogs. First down carry for Gil Fox. And that's a nice run, Randy. We'll take it. Solid run. You know, they got one of those crazy deep fryers in the concession stand now, Cal. I love them. I was down there before the game. They had deep fried candy bars, had me some of those, cookies, you name it. They even had the weirdest thing I ever seen, a deep fried tamale donut. Delicious. Yeah, how's your touchdown? Touchdown! There's touchdown. Right. That is right. That is right. Come on. So the Bullfrogs strike first and take a 7 to nothing lead. Good. We get on the board, put some pressure on the Bearcats. Nice job, guys. Headed into halftime with the Bullfrogs down by seven. What do we need to happen on this drive, Randy? A stop, 
We got to stop them. Last thing we need in this game is going to half down 14 points. Now, come on, D. Here we go. First and 10 and a new drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And very little room to maneuver as they're able to take him down. Didn't get a whole lot on that run. Uh-huh. We smelled that play coming a mile away. Smelled pretty bad, too, that run. Kind of like me. Yeah, don't remind me. He's gonna throw. Third down coming up. Cal, do you ever get excited? Now, I'm serious about that. What would happen if you won the lottery? Might actually see you crack a smile? You're not a happy man, are you, Cal? Defense looks like they expect him to throw. He'll throw. Looking for his running back. That's complete. And he's tackled right around the 25-yard line. Boy, did we need that stop on defense. I'll tell you, this team has surprised me all year, Cal. Just when you think they might fold, they step up, make a stand. That was great defense on that drive. Amen. Hey, just as we expected right now, this game is getting tight here. Middle of the third quarter, and we are tied at 14. Yeah, now this is a perfect time to swing the momentum. We score on this drive, Cal. I feel a whole lot better. Oh, me too. And he will lose yardage back here at the 23-yard line. I can't see his number, but whoever that was, that was a great tackle by that kid. Who? I? What? Okay. Second and a mile for Mathis. This time, Dylan will throw. He hits Willie Pryor on the slant. Whew, that's tough to stop. I mean, if they get that timing down on that slant, they got that rhythm going. They can do that all day long, Cal. First and ten. And this run picks up a nice little chunk. Well, that'll help. Every little bit counts. Dylan drops back this time. And it's... Incomplete. That's going to bring up a third. Can't get a first down if the ball's knocked down. Defense looks like they expected him to throw it here. Dylan in the shotgun on third down. And Willie Pryor barely caught that laser. He just got the back end of that ball. That helps, huh? Oh, yeah, big first down. Now, if I was a coach, I'd run track routes underneath all day long. That team's have a tough time stopping them, especially high school teams. First down carry for Gil Fox. They get him down right around the 35-yard line. Ooh, nothing worse than giving up a big run right up the middle. That's a punch in the gut, huh, defense? There's one back behind the quarterback. They'll keep it on the ground with Fox. And that'll work. A nice run there. Not a bad run there. Folks, we have a red pickup with it. Jerry, come on now. That is enough. Every Friday night for the last five years, this has got to stop. It ain't rock science. It ain't rocket surgery. I mean, just turn the knob and shut your lights off. Man, you get out of the truck. What's wrong with your head there, Jerry? Come on. Dang. Fast Willie Pryor does it again. Sure did. Nice to see this track kid make a catch. Whew. He usually drops those, so good for him. He's fast, though. That's why we call him that. Touchdown! Touchdown, Bullfrogs! Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew it! Yeah, just Whoa. what the doctor ordered, yes. Randy. The, the big score, and we take the lead. You again. said it, Cal. Love the play calling on that drive. Everybody stepped up. We got some momentum going. Well, this here game is in danger of getting out of hand if we let Beeville extend their lead here. Uh, uh, seriously, Cal, what the heck happened there? We had a 21-14 lead a second ago, and Beeville just went off. Mm, yeah. We have to slow them down here. He's going to throw. Nice start to the drive. He is scared to death now, Cal. He's hearing footsteps. <laughs> Ah! 
He'll throw. To the right sideline. Incomplete. Yeah, incomplete there on second down. Now, Rhino, what, what's going to be the defensive philosophy we follow here on third down? Defensive what? The, the, the defensive philosophy, the thing we're, we're going to do to stop them. Shoot, Cal, I don't know. They didn't teach the philosophy of Mathis when I was there back in the late 70s. Early 80s. He's going to dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Now, that was a great defensive drive. Huge, Cal. We're back in this thing, but time's running out. We can't waste any more opportunities on offense. Let's go, fellas. Listen, guys, listen. I know I'm new to Mathis, but this is the first time in my life I feel like I have a home. I'm not going to lose this team. Lucas. I've been beating here, man. All came. Get ready. Got you. We're gonna march down this field and win this game. Let's go. Not for us, but for this entire town. Yeah. This is our time. Yeah. Let's be bullfrogs. Yeah. All right. This is the play. Going shotgun. Thirty-one. Drag out post. Ready? Well, here we go. Brand new drive, first and ten. Let's see what they do. He's got room. And that run brings him up to about the 40 yard line. All right, first and ten. The gun in the shotgun. And Kia oh, is wide open. Oh, no one was around him. Looked a little bit like his older brother on that play. Yeah, he ain't as fast as Kenny Moore, but he sure has a knack for coming up with the big plays, don't he? First down carry for Gil Fox. He's looking for a scene, but he don't find one as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all. Oh, man, a I didn't expect that. Yeah, shoot. We need to get our kids in the weight room. Shouldn't get pushed around like that, Cal. On second down, it's old Foxy with the carry. Breaks the tackle. And he's only able to get it up to about the two-yard line. Huge game. This kid needs more carries, Cal. If I was coach, I'd give him about 40 or 50 touches per game. He's a hoss. They'll try to run it in with Wendell. They've done it! <laughs> they have done it! <laughs> nobody, nobody <laughs> gave us a chance in this game, Cal. Beville's ranked 24th in the state. Unbelievable! I can't believe it! We did it! <laughs> That's how we play! Woo. That's how we do it! Let's go! Let's Everybody, stop. listen up! Listen up! <laughs> oh, man. I want each and every one of you to savor what happened tonight. Because no matter what happens out there, nobody can take this victory away from you. Got that? That's right. Woo! Now, the team, we did our part. And guess what? The town's doing theirs, too. Tonight, we raised... $3,890, which is way more than anybody else thought we could ever do. And not just that, people beyond this town are giving too. Couple that with what Devin gave, and Antonio Brown kicking in another $15,000. Yeah. Man, be close. All right. Now listen up, everybody. I want you to keep believing. Yes, sir. Okay? What this town is doing, what you have done, what people outside this town are doing shows that people believe in us, believe in what we do. And some people are going to tell you that this is a miracle. Well, it's not. It's not. You worked your tails off to earn this, and this is yours, and no one can take that away. To Hank! To Hank! Hey, Munts, how are we doing on those donations? Give me a minute. I'm only one man. You account for this yet? 
Dang, Nabbit. Now I'll count. Hey, Geese! Geese, check it out. Deshaun Watson just wrote us a check for $250,000. Hey, everyone, we got an announcement to make. Must have ain't $250,000. I mean, it'd be a lot cooler if it was. Hey, everybody. One Derek Deshaun Watson just gave us $25,000 to Mathis. <laughs> well done. You should all be proud. But I fear this will not end the way you guys hoped. <laughs> we ain't done yet. Still got an hour left. Yeah. Plenty of time. Cope. What are you doing here, Mario? <laughs> come to catch another whooping? Yeah. Huh? I come in peace. I swear. Look, as much as we've hated you through the years, <laughs> this rivalry suit us all to be better. We respect the heck out of Mathis football. So, after the game, everyone and their parents threw in. What? It's only 1300 but maybe it'll help. No, oh, every bit helps, Mario. Thank you so much. Yeah. Tell me that don't warm your heart. Even if you only got pennies to give, show them some love. Donate now. You sure you don't want to stay? Something to eat? Something yeah. to drink? Good luck, guys. Thank you again. Thanks again. <laughs> hey, you seeing this? Wait, wait, is that for real? I think it is. Hey, guys, what's happening? Antonio Brown's video's gone viral. Pepsi just retweeted it. Huh. And they just posted a YouTube video about us. 50K, 50 more K. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Oh! Look at those numbers. Let's go, come on. 250, 250, 250. Holy smokes. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We did it! Give me that, give me that, give me that. Yeah. 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 Congratulations to you all. Oh, please, please. It is apparent you no longer need my 250,000 contribution. Come on, man, pay up. It was my dream to build a million dollar stadium in Beville, but my contribution will live a short of that mark. So, instead of giving 250,000, I will give 372,000 for a mega stadium right here in Mathis. <laughs> And I'm putting in charge my amazing son, Gabriel, to build that stadium. Geese! Go, Geese! Here go, Geese! And me. with my old man, and uh, I know Devin wanted to come up here and say, say a couple words. Yeah, I do. Devin? Thanks, man. Wow. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is incredible. You know, I, I can't tell you what a great moment this is to be a part of. They say that a football team is nothing without his coach. The guy that makes you feel like nothing is impossible, like the word doesn't even exist. So, uh, so with that, I'd like to propose a toast to Coach Colton Cruz, the man who saved the Mathis Bullfrogs 
football team and the richest man in town. Get up here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! What can I say? Um, just thank you. That's it. I think y'all heard enough speeches from me this year. <laughs> thank you. Good night. Absolutely not. Come on. Come on, coach. <laughs> Come on, Cole. Woo! I don't have my guitar, so oh, that ain't gonna happen. What are you doing? Uh, you know, you know, me... Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this wasn't planned. I, I promise you, it's just this one. <laughs> um, I was inspired by someone recently to, uh, to write something new, so uh I guess I could do that one for you, huh? <clears throat> okay. Here we go. When I was young, I chased the sun and tried to reach the stars and tackled all of my fears. I tried so hard to hide from life and cover up my scars Searching far and wide for a place that's been right here I thought I'd cross the county line and leave this all behind me And give my dark days to the past well, I'd wait under the big bright lights for fame to come and find me. But I lost my way, cause light moves a bit too fast. Well, I've always longed for springtime in the middle of July. Or dreamt of mountain tops while standing on a pier. But nothing's felt like home and now I know why. I'm finally here, I'm finally here, yeah, I'm finally here, I'm finally here. <laughs> hey, Devin, we have to head back. Colt, great job tonight. You have got a future in coaching, my friend. Let's stay in touch. Yes, sir. Thank you, coach. <laughs> Hope you're ready to tear it up in the NFL, baby. Actually, you know what? For the first time, uh, I'm good here. But go out there and get it this weekend. Well, I'll be watching, all right? You got it, brother. Do us proud, baby. <sighs> what a day. talk football all day but i want to talk about devin wade the person it's a big week your first start in the nfl and you find time to go home and support your community which has been hit hard by the hurricane so tell me devin a little bit about what that trip meant to you it meant the world to me you know we're letting little towns like mathis die which means we're letting communities die now if we continue to let that happen we're only going to be torn further apart as a country when I found out the community was banding together to save the team, I knew I needed to be a part of it. I, I had to be a part of it. Just feel blessed that Coach Cowell felt the same way. It's really incredible to help shine a light on little old Mathis. <laughs> Great stuff, Devin. I'll get you out of here with a little football, though. When I spoke to Coach Cowher, he said you can morph into virtually any style of quarterback that we see in the NFL today. So I'm asking you, who is Devin Wade, really? player I mostly get compared to is Deshaun Watson. I love his ability to extend plays and make something out of nothing. 
And on top of all that, he's a great guy. What he's done for me here, and, you know, coming to Mathis. He's, he's a special guy. Awesome. Well, I can tell you, I, for one, am looking forward to seeing you out on the field. Good luck, Devin Wade. Yo, Devin, you get in trouble? Just look for me. I got you. I bet. A big game tonight, Charles, and it usually is when these two teams get together, but this one feels a little bit bigger. It certainly does, because normally we're talking about Brady versus Watson, or maybe these two legendary coaches facing off. Tonight, as you suggested, a very different story. Yeah, that big story, Devin Wade facing off Devin! against Tom Brady. Devin! So the newbie to the league, his first NFL start against what many people think is the best quarterback of all time. Yeah, and let's face it, the Patriots coaching staff, they've had an entire week to prepare for Devin Wade. So he's got to use everything he's learned up to this point. Got to channel what old Earl Coates taught him in his previous run with Dallas and bring it to the front. It's going to be a tall order, the tallest of orders for the youngster. First and ten, Wade. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. That complete to Lamar Miller. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Over the middle here to Brown. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Same result as last play, 14 yards and another first down. And Devin will throw again. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up in this first drive, going to plan so far. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. He lost two there, and it's third down. And Brandon, as we continue to see, so much of the influence on this game is now coming from those hybrid-type players. In this case, strong safety, not worried about covering the pass. What a play on the run. Tackled for a loss. Yeah, forget the pregame introductions. He introduced himself with authority on that play. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. A temporary moment for Devin Wade to exhale. That's exactly the start that he and the Texans needed. Think about the pressure of just playing against Tom Brady. And then you have to think to yourself the added pressure of thinking, you've got to match him drive for drive. If they can do that all game, they've got a chance in this one. On first and 10, Wade. Throw left side, taken in by Miller. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Throwing on first down, Wade. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Devin drops back. That's caught right side by Anderson. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 at enemy territory. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. 
The name of the game is always on defense. Put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. 20. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. Big yardage there on the scramble. Seven. It gets him a first down. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. And this is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Devin Wade answers for the Texans. We're tied at 14. I like this. Good offense, both sides. Hey, that was a shot in the arm that this team needed. And let's face it, it looks like the Patriots are a bit surprised that Houston is not backing down from them. Normally, when you're the bully on the block, you take your big shots, people shrink from you. Not in this case. Texans about to start another Seven. offensive drive. They're hanging in this one, but I put emphasis on the word hanging because you just feel like it could slip. What do you think? How do they look? A little shaky to me. I mean, Devin's played well, but the rest of the team, they've got to up their game a little bit around him. You know as well as I do, the Patriots are not a team you can let jump out to a big lead. Way to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw there. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. And he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Slam route's effective no matter who he's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know, you and I were reminiscing the other day about how cool that whole long shot experience was, and you and I got to be a small part of that. What were your favorite moments coming away? Well, it started with just the idea, because... We all love the Walter Mitty story. We always put ourselves in these situations where we think we can do it. But we know we can't, but we enjoy watching others get their opportunity. And I just thought the dynamic of Devin and Colt, absolutely terrific. I thought that was just great. Wade in the red zone here on first down. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. And Devin Wade will throw it again. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. Hey, partner, one other thing about the long shot experience I forgot to mention. What's that? Jack Ford. Huh? And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, 
out Houston. That was big for them to end up hitting pay dirt there. You think that that touchdown was exactly what they needed? Now they're only down two. Now you get a chance to regroup, come out, prepare, and play the second half almost even. Not much time left. Devin Wade and the Texans, they've got a shot here, down four. Throwing on first down. Wade is going to float this one deep right side. He's got it at the 15. Touchdown, Houston. Well, before we put this one to bed, wh what a game we saw. Any final thoughts? I thought this game was absolutely unreal because Devin Wade made a lot of people believers tonight, and I think he made himself a believer as well. How about that performance? Good game, Devin. Way to play, man. I'm so impressed. Keep it up. you got a great career ahead of you. Good things happen to good people. Hey, I appreciate that, Tom. I love watching you play, man. You too, man. All right, take care. Hey, my dad seriously gave you a loan for this place? Pitched him with PowerPoint and everything. We're partners. My family barbecue recipe and his lemonade. Not that Argentinian crap. Oh, yeah. Ever since that Brango got lifted, he's able to cut costs and pass the savings on to my customers. Hey, Munz. I gotta tell you, man, this place is pretty incredible. Except for the lemonade. That's undrinkable. And why is it $6 a cup? Well, thank you, Cole. I appreciate that. You have to pay for quality. Oh, speak of the devil, ladies and gentlemen, look who we have here. Houston, Texas started quarterback, Devin Wade. Uh, well, not exactly. <laughs> All right, so, fellas, uh, it being Thanksgiving, I wanted to introduce you to a guy that I'm truly thankful for, the coach that got me to where I am today, Earl Coates. Wow. It's nice meeting you all. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, welcome to Munson's Messy Barbecue. Come for the barbecue, stay for the weirdo company. <laughs> Slogan pending. Thank you kindly. Hey, D, I want you to check something out. What do you got, bud? I hung it up. My first decoration. Is it the one that was stolen? <laughs> no, it's the one he signed for me. Oh, that's cool, too, I guess. I would like to apologize for Muntz's lack of decorum. Um, it's such a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, brother. Uh, I was wondering if I could introduce you to somebody. Part of the weirdo company? No, actually, a, a young quarterback that I've been working with. Okay. How are you, young man? Mind if I sit? Yes, you came! <laughs> uh, what? It's okay I'm here, right? Uh, yeah, it's more than okay. <laughs> Such a dork. You mind if I borrow a loaf for a minute? No, you okay with this? Dad, whatever you have to say, you can say to us. Well, look, it, it's clear you're thriving here. You, 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 you know, the thing is, you got a real good thing going, and and while I. Don't want to take you away from that. Here comes the butt. While I don't want to take you away from that, I'd like to be part of it. I'd really like to come live here in Memphis. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you from living anywhere you want in this world. And I know that Lois is a big girl, and I wouldn't dare speak for her. But I can tell you one thing. Cash, I, I will not let you hurt Loretta again. Okay, son. I get it. I really do. I just... I wasted so much time already that I could have been spending with the two of you. And I got a lot to answer for, I know that. I just don't want to waste more time. So, 
Heck, she can stay with you if that's what she wants. Come on. Come on. Now, what do you say? I think you know very well what I would say. Hello? Hey, son. I get it. I really do. I just... I wasted so much time already that I could have been spending with the two of you. And I got a lot to answer for, I know that. Hey, son. I get it. I really do. I just... I wasted so much time already that I could have been spending with the two of you. And I got a lot to answer for, I know that. I just don't want to waste more time. So... Heck, she can stay with you if that's what she wants. Come on. Come on. Now, what do you say? I think you know very well what I would say. Hello? Of course. Thank you, son. <clears throat> Come on, let's get you something to eat. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Just, just hold on one, one second. I will be right back. Hey! I'm cold. Julia, good to good to uh, see you. Um, thank you for coming down. I appreciate it. I really do. I know you came a long way. Uh, but I... <laughs> I just got a girlfriend. And uh, I still want to lead you on. So I just want to tell you now. So it didn't get weird later, you know? Great. <laughs> I don't want it to get weird. Okay, great. Bye. Hey. hey. I didn't think you'd make it. Glad you came. <laughs> well, Colt thinks I'm here to profess my love. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, everybody! Who's ready for a snowball? Come on! <laughs> oh, come on, man! Texas ain't so bad. Mm, I guess it isn't.
Here's your NFL career. Oh, commercials. Oh, better looking women. Upgrading friends. Oh, MC Hammer type home, you know. Jewelry, all that kind of stuff. Bling, 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 bling. Thank you, coach. <laughs> I do yoga, Bikram yoga, the sweaty hot kind. I do the splits right here. Don't, you don't do the splits. I mean, I would. I'm, I'm telling I'm, you, just like I do it. I'm begging you, don't do the splits. The only reason I'm not, I got like a silk wool blend, $3,000 Italian suit. You know, it's expensive. I don't want to split those pants for anybody. You that fifth string? No. What I what I miss? Hey, come on, man. Coats. You know, just singing my praises. So. What, what did he say? Dude, come on. You're clowning. You heard what he said. No, that's why I'm asking you. He said nice job, Smitty. So. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> that's it's pretty promising. But that's what you're happy about. He tells me nice job all the time. Yeah, you're good at looking at tablets. Proud of you, man. Real proud of you. They ain't playing today, but they definitely ain't stopping us tonight. <laughs> oh man, I'm just keeping you company until I give my shot. <laughs> yeah, I ain't throwing away my shot even if you are. Yeah, hey, Hamilton. I see what you did there. Wait, what? Broadway. Then Manuel Miranda. Never mind. You know, wait. If we actually make this team, maybe someday they'll tell the story of tonight. Ah oh, man, I knew you knew Hamilton, <laughs> man. I was a drama major in high school. <laughs>